It is extremely important to use the microbiology help in managing the critical care infections. It could be useful if you interpret very appropriately and use the knowledge in managing infections. But I think it is also important not to use the test when they are really not needed. So Dr. Kamila, I want to ask you, what are the real indications as of today of procalcitonin in, in managing infection? Actually, to be honest, we have not found too much of joy in using procalcitonin in diagnosing sepsis. If anything, we would use it to de-escalate and not to diagnose. Because though traditionally procalcitonin has been defined at set, uh, at, at set concentrations to say that this patient has a bacterial infection, we've often found some amount of cross-reactivity. It may take time and we believe it's, if any indication, it should be used for de-escalation. You know, even the surviving sepsis guideline also says that this is a test which should be used for discontinuation yeah. rather than uh, as a guide to start antibiotics. Then the other thing is that uh, uh, whenever you have a patient uh, and you get an antibiogram and uh, looking at the antibiogram, can a clinician find out what could be the possible mechanism of resistance and which can help him in choosing the antibiotics? Actually, I just showed you, uh, you know, from the susceptibility pattern, you can make a calculated guess as to whether it would be, say, ESBL, whether it would be AMPC or whether it would be, say, uh, carbapenemase. And I think at this point, I made that point in the talk that carbapenemases which are hitting us badly, at least in India, uh, the difference in the literature that's coming out from the West are essentially to do with KPC, which are serine carbapenemases, and they are more susceptible to gentamicin they are more susceptible to beta-lactam, beta-lactam inhibitor combinations than the metallo, which we have, the NDMs, which are resistant with the 16S methylase, resistant to the aminoglycosides, and no beta-lactam inhibitor combination seems to help currently now. So the mechanism of action, yes, you can to a certain extent uh, make a calculated guess on whether it is an ESBL, if all third and fourth generation cephalosporins have gone, it's usually an ESBL. If BL, BLI have gone, then it's usually an AMPC. The other thing is, you know, many a times the report comes like a urine culture and the, the organism grown is Acinodobacter, sensitive to TG cyclin. So what do you think? Is there an importance of, for the, 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 the person who is interpreting to have an eye?